A lot of gang shit, 1600, ghetto back home. The back end child taking out, no cap. It's up now. Watch your heart. It ain't gonna fault, no wind ain't gonna fault. No granddaddy died from tennis, your mama ain't seen it, your daddy was soft. Hey, go, 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 go. Crazy. I wanna wait your Wait, what? Hey, what? We real life. Like we all we got. We already knew that when we signed up. We knew the job was hard for we took it. We knew what was going on. Hello everyone, I'm Devin Walsh. We begin with breaking news this afternoon. The grandparents of a local rapper shot and killed, then their home set on fire. Mobile police now looking for a man they say took part in the of Layla and Tony Lewis last year. They are the grandparents of rapper Honeycomb Brazy. Three others already in custody and charged in those tonight. Hey yo squad, what's the drill? Back with another video, man. Alabama, stand up, cause today we are gonna talk about rappers that's been causing a lot of buzz in the city. I'm talking about Honeycomb Brazy and that boy No Cap. The two have been going at it online, on wax and in person behind bars, but the beef may have gone horribly wrong with the news breaking that No Cap's ex-homie was allegedly involved in murking Honeycomb's grandparents and leaving them to burn in fire. How in the hell did two artists that had the hip hop spotlight and was so cool with each other become such bitter enemies? That's what we gonna find out. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. I did previous vids on Honeycomb Brazy life and his shenanigans that landed him in jail where he currently is. So you can check that out and get hip. We're jumping straight into the beef with him and No Cap off the rip though. Speculations have been going around as to say what really set things off between the two and the reason that seems to be the cause would have you like Cause it really just be egos and short tempers that be setting dudes off on each other. No Cap was feeling some type of way and got on IG and posted the following on his story. According to him, he said he didn't hear no type of wave or rapper speaking on their fallen homies in pain until he dropped Ghetto Angels. Now if you never heard that track, you should check it out. No Cap. No Cap did his thing on that joint for real. He then followed up the claim with the next upload saying that him and Rollo made punchlines cool again. The Rollo he's referring to isn't the kingpin from Atlanta, but the savage from Alabama, Rollo Rodriguez. Honeycomb Brazy being from Atlanta with both of them felt that that was a diss to him because he's known for freestyling and doing exactly what No Cap said only him and Rollo do musically. 59 like a minute of three. Won't you take some time, come sit down, have a minute with me. I ain't lying, it been on my mind, I can finally speak. And just like that, boom, the spark to the fuse. Honeycomb Brazy will hop on his IG story to let some things off his chest, escalating the situation to something that didn't require to be an issue. But these dudes are all street dudes, so they gonna do what they gonna do regardless. This is what Honeycomb Brazy had to say. A ninja can't bring up punchlines out of Alabama and don't mention my name on blood. Brazy went on to say that the truth is, it really was him that made it cool and directed everybody to go back and listen to his first freestyle that dropped June 8th, 2018 and compare it to dude's music around the same time. This is the track that he's talking about and I can't front. Bro was really going in for six plus minutes. Basically Honeycomb saying that he was out rapping them same dudes punchline wise. To finish it off, he had to take a jab at their credibility, letting the world know him and his crew are in 4L, really out there in the streets while other rappers just living. We knew what was going on. When I spread the R in 4L, the real for life, I knew how the rap was gonna hate that. I knew how the man, how the fake had they was gonna hate that shit. So guess what? That's why I spring it up. I don't need no on me. None of that. All my ride on. Honeycomb Brazy didn't tag anybody in the post, but it was clear he was talking on no cap and responding to what he felt was disrespect to leave his name out of the convo. Honeycomb really seemed to take his craft seriously while he was feeling so slighted by no cap's post. To prove he was shaking up the city with the bars, he posted a clip of the baby bumping his music. Then posted a pic of messages showing 1017 head honcho Gucci Mane reaching out, letting him know that he wants to have a convo because his music is applying hella pressure. Brazy was letting it be known that, yo, some of the biggest in the industry is rocking with me now, so his music gotta be nice. That was his pushback to being left out by No Cap's claims. Well, 
You know how the street stuff go. Dudes are gonna meet up at some point. And guess where they bumped heads at? Behind prison walls. The two was in jail in the court in the honeycomb brazy they got into it. And he was about to KO no cap, but no cap stood silent and let him know if he wants smoke, it could be fire. In the way with no cap, got into it with no cap before. All right, nice me, fast. Got into it with no cap, told no cap, no cap had a heart. No cap, like shit, we can bump, we can bump, we can do whatever. I'm a real on blood, though, he told me. He like, bitch, I'm a real We can bump, we can do whatever, calm, I ain't no hope. From then, Honeycomb Brazy said he respected bro because he stood 10 toes and was with the same energy he was with. But he still needed his lick back for disrespecting his talent. And I said, oh, I like this little bitch cow. I respect that little bitch on dead. Like, real talk, I respect the way he did. I'm like, ah, I like little no cow, no cow, go, go. Brazy said no cap was good with his cousin Mega Man, and if he touched no cap, Mega Man would get on his top. But get what I told him after that. I said, I ain't gonna do none of you, Cap, because I fuck with you. For real, you fuck with Mega Man. You know, Mega Man, my cousin, y'all a big friend, so I really can't do nothing to you. So instead, he decided to go on a rampage and go after everyone that was cool with no cap. You fuck with every you talk to, and the nigga you feel like you fuck with. Crazy thing is, Brazy claims he actually went around getting at people in the pen until No Cap, fearing that he would be next, came and tried to squash things and made it seem like he little boy No Cap. When Honeycomb got home from his stint behind bars, he did a Say Cheese interview where he addressed the situation with him and No Cap. In that interview, he spoke on what happened behind bars, saying that he got respect for Cap, but things went left and No Cap's peoples was getting punched on and they think that Brazy was the one who put the hit out on Cap. Like shit, I'm some real shit. I don't know what's going on or cap, but you know, it's a little incident how you know, if people I got knocked out in the county jail, you know, then I sent a hit at him, you know. Things seemed to get quiet between the two, but there was much more brewing in the background in the streets. In February 2021, news hit that the ops had hit up Honeycomb Brazy's grandparents' house, ending their life and sending the house up in fire with them inside. It was a horrific scene. It was pretty heartless. Honeycomb Brazy felt that one in his chest for how low down and dirty they did his peoples and made it known. He went on live speaking on what happened and clearing things up and saying that one of the bullets hit a gas tank and that's how the house went up in smoke. I can't let up right now. I can't let up. If I let up, I'm going to make my ops so happy. They're going to be happy if I stop. Cause that's what they doing before they want me to stop. Like, throw them off track. I don't do that. Pray your grandma house up. Shoot the house up and hit the tank and that bit blow up. News reports would get the official cause of death for his grandparents and it was revealed his grandpops was wet up with the pole, but his grandmoms actually succumbed due to the burning fire. That's wild, RIP to them. The question was, what in the world did Brazy do or who in the world did Brazy piss off to get such a gruesome retaliation on his folks? This came after multiple attempts on Brazy's life that left him previously in a coma. Cops were clamped down on the case and answered that question. Turns out, it was allegedly a well-known kingpin in the city, rumored to have ties to the cartel, Darren Southall. Well, Cherish Mobile Chief of Staff James Barber tells us that he is very confident that one or more will be charged in that case. At first, it was speculated that he put out the alleged hit on Brazy's grandparents because Brazy was calling him out for being a rat. Never did nothing. Y'all know Braves pulling up. That was one thing. No Braves gonna pull up anywhere, everywhere. And he got real chick on his head. I'm dead. But doing some research, I found out that it was much deeper than that. It was connected to Honeycomb Brazy's past. In 2016, he was allegedly charged with the homicide of a young man by the name of Ladarius Stank Mora. The importance of that was that he was the nephew of South Hall. South Hall was his uncle, so it seemed to get back from South Hall was allegedly for taking his nephew's life. But that's not the kicker. How does this connect to no cap in any way? Well, turns out there were more suspects apprehended for the homicide of Brazy's grandparents. One of them which stood out was Jamarcus Chambers, AKA the 4PF rapper, Project Baby Juicehead. Man, these names, boy, I tell you. You know, he rap, he got good music and shit like that, but he be too many rats. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, I ain't talking about little baby no I'm talking about a mobile. Like, all them friends, you know? So I don't really too to be kicking Rado like that, you know? But he, he all right. He all right, but now he's just, he, he tripping. He tripping, though. That dude is friends with Rallo and another rapper Brazy was beefing with by the name of MGM Let. But the real discovery is that No Cap and Project Baby Juicehead were once tight for real. Oh, go. All right. I'm about to pop more perks, though. 
This piece of information shows how wild and deep this beef goes. Investigators would catch a fourth suspect lacking named Patrick Lewis, and they gotta hold the phone conversations between South Hall and Terrence Watkins and South Hall and Jamarcus Chambers, aka Project Baby Juicehead. It detailed that South Hall was allegedly behind the hit and put the three youngins up to it. Yeah, that's right, Peter. So detectives in this case gave testimony about audio recordings between several of the suspects reportedly planning the shooting, saying in court that the recordings are sickening. The phone recordings are reportedly between Terrence Watkins and Darren Southall, as well as Southall and Jamarcus Chambers. All three are suspects in the case. Southall would plead guilty on the legal substance charges of his kingpin operation and receive 35 years for that charge. It's really shocking what goes on beneath the surface of what the internet sees. The streets have levels to it, and Honeycomb Brazy is tied up deep. Friendships, betrayals, givebacks, and spinnings of the block Honeycomb might have overstepped his boundaries beefing with no cap given his past affiliates had ties to the kingpin and alleged cartel link whose nephew he murked. But until we really know what's going on, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.